Okay, my friends, it is workout one. We're back at workout one. Let's do this. This is a challenging one. Remember to modify if you need to. We've got one minute of warm ups, then we've got five exercises, one, each one for a minute. Then we've got an AMRAP, which is challenging. I'll run you through modifications. And then we've got another round of five minutes of five exercises. Okay, that's the, that's the drill. We're starting with push-ups. You can start on your toes or on your knees. We have one minute of warm up before we get into it, okay? All right, let's do it, my friends. Let's go ahead and get warmed up. Hands behind the head, belly button is pulled in, shoulders are back and down, elbows are back, side to side. Mm. Little tick-tock, beautiful. Beautiful. Four, three, two, hold it. Stay to one side, look up at the sky. Up and over to the other side, look up at the sky. Good, hands down by your side. Go ahead and just sway from side to side. We're just getting that spine moving. Oh, someone's coming over. Okay, open up that hip. Hey, Dad. I'm just doing a little workout recording on the street. Oh, Mabel, hold on. Mabel, come. come. Okay. Other side. Bring that knee up and over. Open up that hip. Good. Two more. Two. And one. Beautiful. Let's give me a couple of good mornings, okay? So hands behind the head. Hinge down, come on back up, open up those hips. All right, one minute of push-ups is started. You guys, you know, you've got all sorts of options. The one thing I want you to do is keep it out of your neck. I like elbows back and down. I like to do my tricep style, but you've got options, okay? Let's go ahead and bring it on down to our knees. Give me a couple of cat cows right here. Inhale, exhale, round it up, 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 up. Inhale. Round it up, exhale. One more time. Really work on articulating through that spine. Pull it up. Okay, marvelous. Let's go. One minute of push ups. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, I'm going to start on my toes. I'm coming straight down, straight back up. Belly button's in. Good, so we wanna really focus on keeping those, the neck and the shoulders pulled down. So as soon as I start to get a little sloppy in my form, I'm gonna drop down to my knees, okay? You got a whole minute to do this. 30 more seconds. And we flip it around, we've got some tricep dips. One minute of tricep dips is a lot. And so if you start to feel like your triceps are cramping up a little bit, Go ahead and take a little rest, okay? Press those hands into the ground, use all the fingers. 10 seconds to go. Good, four, three, two, beautiful job. Flip it around, shake out those wrists. We go into tricep dips and then we come on up. One of my favorite ones, hold it up here. Open up the shoulders, lower and lift. Here we go. Good. We're gonna do our single leg hops, which I find Challenging in a really good way. If you don't want to hop, you're just going to bend and straighten. You're going to practice being on one leg. Practice that balancing. Oh yeah, this is good. 30 seconds to go. We come up. I'm going to start on my left leg because I always like to start on my non-dominant leg, which means my weaker leg, right? We all have a dominant side. I'm a righty, so my right side is my dominant side. Good. Nice work. 10 seconds to go. Oh, yeah, that's good. Come on up. Shake it out. Get on your left leg. And all we're going to do is hop from side to side. So the last time we did this, I really felt this in my calves. And we don't spend a lot of time um, 
doing some calf work here. So this is a really good calf exercise. It's also, you'll feel it, it's great cardiovascularly. You're gonna feel it through that whole leg. You're also gonna feel it in the ankles. This is great for ankle stability. You're halfway there, guys. And if you don't wanna jump, you just bend and straighten. Practicing standing on one leg. It's all good. Keep breathing through it. Try to relax your hands. Come on, gang. Stay with me. Ooh, I'm feeling it now. Now is when it starts to feel good. Four, three, two. Oh, shake it out. The clock's going. We gotta do it. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. After this, we've got squats. So if you have a weight, I have a weight right here. I'm gonna use my weight. If you don't have a weight, that's fine. I want you to work on range of motion. Any variation you wanna do, you can put your hands behind your head. It's called a prisoner squat. Good again, come on. Stay with me, you're past the halfway point. This is our second to last. Next one is our last exercise of this first block. Good. 15 seconds, come on, stay with me. Go, go, go. Almost there, almost there. Woo, yeah. Four, three, two. Take a breather if you need to. I'm grabbing my weight, my toes are at 11 and one. I'm squatting down, coming back up. Good. Drop those heels into the ground. Good. If you've got weights in your hands and you want to add an overhead press, that's fine. You can do that as well. Breathe. All right, kids. We've got about 30 more seconds. And then we've got our AMRAP. We set the timer for five minutes. You do as many as you can. We've got split lunges. We've got jump backs. And we've got V-ups. This is challenging. Breaks would be expected, okay? Good. Three, two, and one. We reset the timer. And we're on. So if you're not doing split lunges, you're just lunging like this, okay? Split lunges, we're jumping. Good. And then we've got jump backs. If you don't want to jump back, you're coming down, you're stepping back and stepping forward, or you're walking out and you're coming back in. Okay, 10 total. I count those as two. If you're jumping back with me, you're down and up. You're on your own time. When you're done with these, you got 10 Vs. You want to turn this into a full burpee? You can also do that. Let me know you're the person that does that. <laughs> so when you're done with the exercises, you just go right back to the top. Take your time with it. You wanna go at a brisk pace, but only so brisk where you're able to also maintain your form. Good. Nice work, you guys. So when you're done, you get right back into it. Catch your breath, make sure you're ready to do good form. When we're doing the split lunges, when you're doing the split lunges, make sure you're splitting those legs in the air. I'll let you know when we're halfway there.
Time to breathe. Halfway through, you guys. Oh, so good. Keep going, keep going. I'm proud of you. Good job. Keep going. Keep going. You guys, it's just two minutes left. Focus on your form. Good reps, good rounds. If you've decided to keep it low impact, that's awesome too. You do what works for your body. Only you know. Woo! I'm feeling it now. 90 seconds, you guys. Come on. Right now, how much more do you think you can get in? Set a goal for yourself. Good. One minute left. Come on. When we're done with this, we're going to bring it down to the ground. We're going to practice that hollow hold. One minute of hollow hold practice. Keep breathing. seconds left. What else can you get in? Go, go, go. I'm getting one jump back in. Four, three, and one. Let's go down. Drop it down. How hold is next? Lean in tabletop. Let's get those uh, knees over the hips, arms up ahead. Pull up to your belly, take your head off the ground. So this is the beginning of our hollow hold, hollowing out the belly. Then you can play around with adding arms and legs to this. You can get those shoulders up off the ground, hollow out the belly. Take a break when you need to. Reset, you have 30 seconds. We flip it around to a forearm plank, we're gonna drop the hips. Good, stay with it. Good, you guys have about 10 more seconds. Play with it, you don't wanna let that butt belly pooch out, so you're trying to hold it for as long as you can. Take a little break, get back in. Three, two, let's go, flip it around. Okay, kids. Drop into that plank. We're dropping the hips from one side, back to the center, other side, back to the center. Okay. We've got one more round down here at the ground. After this, we're doing bear crawls. Do you remember these? <laughs> so, we can hold the plank. We can hold a bear plank. It's really beast crawls, not bear. To be accurate, we're doing beast. Not there. I'll have to fix that later. <laughs> mm, just drop the hips inside side to side. Come on. You have 15 more seconds. I'm going to move my mat out of the way. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. All right. My mat gets out of the way for this. I'm getting into beast stance. Join me. Beast stance, hands are under the shoulders, toes, flex, knees come an inch off the ground, okay? 
I'm crawling. So I'm going to move forward for five and back for five. Opposite hands and knees. One, two, three, four, five. Then I back it up. Five, four, three, two. I'll try to do it this way so you can see me. One, two, three, four, five. Back it up. Five, four, three, two, one. One, two, breathe, four, five, five, four, three, two, do it again. One, two, three, four, beautiful, come on up. You've got sumo squats and gate swing. And we're done. So sumo squats, if you don't have a weight, toes are pointed out, down and up. Let's get into it. Tailbone is long. We're not sticking that butt out. Okay, if you want to grab your weight, go ahead and grab weight. Good. So pressing those knees out, tucking the tailbone in, getting into those inner thighs. Good. If you have weights and you want to add a high pull, right here. So you can stay with this for one more minute. You can add some pulses. <clears throat> Last exercise is officially a gate swing. <clears throat> Sorry. So we're gonna cross those legs. Three, two, one. We're gonna cross the legs, drop down into a sumo squat. All right, here we go. One minute on the clock. I'm switching which leg comes in front. I'm switching which hand goes down. Good. Breathe through it. You don't need to look at me. So, this is it, my friends. I'm going to encourage you, if you have not already, to allow yourself to get your heart rate up, to feel like you're pushing to the point of fatigue. Less than 30. Good. 20 to go. Can you do it? A little bit more. 10 seconds. Four, three, two. Get back. Take your catch your breath. Bring one arm up and over. Give it a stretch. Breathe. Other arm up and over. Breathe. Take those arms down. Another little swing from side to side. Can I show you something? She's been sitting there waiting so patiently. So she got kicked out. <laughs> All right, you guys, great job. High five again. That one's not easy. Really good job. Super proud of you. Love you to pieces. And I will see you back here tomorrow. Okay, bye.